on this. It's always been interesting, right, to see the race to see who is, is going to be the world's richest man. So Bill Gates has recaptured the title, Peter, uh, and it's all because of Microsoft shares. Well, mostly because of Microsoft. It's, it's up very big this year, uh, but, you know, it, Microsoft really only represents about 20% of his holdings. Mm. He's got this thing cascade that's got about $30 billion worth of stocks and equities in there. It's, uh, he's got Canadian National Rail, which has done real well. He's got Republic Services, which has done real well. He's got this thing, Corbis, which is like a Getty Images, which has done real well. That's actually closely held, but the value has gone up. Um, so but he's has actually Microsoft, firing. But has Microsoft been the big driver? It's been a big driver for him, okay. of course. But of, cor but of course, he's got diversified holdings, mm -hmm. and that's also helped as well. Uh, and, and Creighton, you know, Carlos Slim has held this title for, for several years. How has that played? How has that title played for him, but also for him in Mexico? Well, uh, you know, he personally is kind of, you know, kind of shunned the limelight. He doesn't really like to talk about it. And, and I mean, he says, look, I mean, this is all paper wealth. It's not like I have like a bank vault somewhere where I'm spending the money like <laughs> Scrooge McDuck. But uh, he doesn't. <laughs> no, I know I mean, he might, but as far as we know, um, he, he, you know, as far as the the kind of Mexican position on it. I mean, when you ask somebody on the street, it kind of cuts both ways. On the one hand, they're very proud that someone from their country is so so prominent on the business scene, but they also, of course, you know, talk a lot about the fact that he's made money, um, you know, in uh, services like telecom, where a lot of people, you know, throughout the country are paying bills to him. Right. He's basically money, making money off of the common people. Exactly. It's it sort yeah. of the perception. Uh, but why has his wealth continued to fall? Well, this year, uh, the Mexican government has really started to put in motion a plan, at least, to, to crack down on, uh, on Carlos Slim's companies, which are dominant in Mexico. 70% of wireless phones, 80% of landlines uh, under America Mobile. So this plan has been approved by Congress. The president's going to sign it shortly. And then it's going to do things like give the government the ability to even break up the company, make it sell assets mm. if, uh, if they so determine. So it could be a really big threat then. It could be a huge threat. Uh, Peter, you know, this billionaire's club is a very small club. And, and we know, of course, that Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, Carlos Slim, they all know each other. I mean, in fact, I, I believe that Carlos Slim does work, in fact, with Buffett and works, works also with Bill Gates on various issues, right? Well, defer to, you, you know, you follow Slim much closer. Well, sure. I mean, as a matter of fact, uh, Slim and Gates have, have done a lot of projects together on the philanthropic side, especially. Yeah. I mean, there is some business, too, because, of course, Microsoft makes software for phones and Carlos Slim sells phones. But on the philanthropic side, They've donated to some projects, for example, uh, for polio vaccines and health in Mesoamerica and Central America to develop uh, better nutrition programs for expectant mothers. So they've done some work together. Now, Slim hasn't agreed to the whole... Uh, uh, the giving uh, pledge. Yeah, the giving pledge yeah. where you're going to give away all your money before, or, or a lot of your money before... Half of right. your money, right. Right, exactly. Um, but uh, but they have, they ha he has donated some Gates Foundation projects. So, so they're, they're, yeah, you're right. They're not strangers. No, they're not at all. Uh, keep in mind that this race that they're having, had Gates not given away 28 billion, the guy would be worth about 100 billion right now. So he would be a clear, clearly ahead of everybody else. Right, by far. Right. Uh, how do you? How does this, by the way, with Bill Gates? How does being the world's richest or the second richest in the world? How does that play with him? I don't think he cares. You know, we call for a comment all the time, and they, they have no interest in it. I mean, I think they're very comfortable with, um, you know, where, where they stand in the world ranking. Uh, you know, Creighton was talking about having this be paper wealth. You know, in Gates's case, this is a guy who every quarter collects a check for about 100 million in dividend income. He sells shares that will, who routinely collect 100 million. Gates is a very liquid guy. It's not just paper wealth with him. That's true.